Okay, we have a brief um, focus lesson on substitution for today. Again, if you are really lost on this, go back to your substitution videos that I showed uh, way back before the end of the semester. I think that was the week I was gone, but you had videos on that stuff that will also give you some instruction on it to try to give you a better idea. But for the most part, substitution works whenever you have a variable by itself. And so if I was working this question out, the first thing I would notice is that I see a Y all by itself and so I would use the box and switch method to say this is what I'm going to substitute for this is what I'm going to put in this place and it's going to go right down here and if I recall what I'm supposed to do now is write everything in front of the box which is 5x minus then I'm supposed to switch this out for whatever my uh, substitution is using parentheses 3x minus 4 and then everything behind the box which is equals 12 now I have to remember that a negative actually switches both of those so it turns into 5x minus 3x plus 4 equals 12. Simplify by putting your like terms together. Move your 4 and then divide by 2 to find out that x is equal to 4. Typically the easiest thing for me to substitute into is the one that has the variable by itself. So I'm going to rewrite my y equals 3x minus 4. I'm going to put 4 in for x so it turns into y equals 3 times 4 minus 4, which is 12 minus 4 or 8. And in the end, I should end up with 4 comma 8. Again, if there's anything on this example that confuses you, make sure you stop the video, bring me the work. Uh, bring me the computer uh, so I can see it and then I can explain to you whatever it is that confused you but um, you have to make sure you understand this because again the test is Friday and you're ex going to be expected to be able to do this process if it pops up on the test other than that problem number two looking again at this I noticed that I have a variable by itself down here this is what I'm going to put in this place and because that's a y I'm going to put it right there and so I write everything in front of the box, which is 4x plus 3. I swap y for x minus 2 thirds. And then after the box is it equals 5. I now have to distribute. Well, 4x is easy, plus 3x is easy. But I have to remember that when I take a number times a fraction, that the number gets multiplied by the top. So it should be minus 6 over 3 equals 5. This can be reduced to be, well actually both of these things can happen. This can turn into 7x and 6 divided by 3 is 2. Add 2 to both sides. Getting x equals 1. And then take this, plug it into one of these two things, doesn't matter which one. Um, I'm not afraid of fractions so I'll just plug it into the y equals formula which means that y is equal to 1 minus 2 thirds and 1 minus 2 thirds if you don't know what it is again I showed you how to do this in your calculator 1 minus parentheses always put your or fractions in parentheses 1 minus 2 thirds gives me a decimal so I do math enter enter to find out my answer is 1 third and as a um, ordered pair it would be 1 comma 1 third as an answer there so again, look at this question. You might want to write it down for sake of notes, but bottom line is when it comes down to it, you have to be ready for a question like this if it pops up on the test. And the only thing that was difficult really was the fraction. Just remember again that the whole number multiplies to the top and that the bottom number stays the same. Third question is a word problem. Um, you can probably assume that we're going to see word problems on a test. Uh, the following table shows ticket op two ticket options, including each one's admission price and cost per ride. They want a system of equation that shows the cost per person on each option, and then it wants us to solve it. So option A uh, is going to be admission price of 8. Now that's only paid once. The price per ride, though, 20 cents per ride, I believe if you were going to write an equation for that would be 0.20x plus 8 because it's $8 to get in plus 20 cents per ride. I'm not even going to do this because it wants a system so it's just two equations stacked. Looking at option B, it costs $3 to get in, 60 cents per ride, 
So your option B would be 0 0.60x plus 3 because it costs 3 to get in. That's only a one-time fee. And then 60 cents every time you take a ride. Last thing I want to do is solve it. And so if I was going to solve this, I believe substitution is the best choice. Doesn't matter which one you substitute for because both of these y's are alone. But simply take that number and put it in over here. And because this y is by itself, I don't really need parentheses. It would turn into 0.60x plus 3 because I swapped this equals whatever is over here, which is 0.20x plus 8. The smaller x is the 0 0.20, which gives me 0.40x plus 3 equals 8. You then subtract 3. and then divide by 0 0.40 to wrap this up. If I divide by 0 0.40, which is 12.5. So at 12 and a half rides, pretty much the way this works, option A is very expensive to get in, but it's cheaper per ride. Option B is very cheap, but it's more expensive per ride. And so at 12 and a half rides, both of these are the same. And so you could use this as a uh, decision point to say if you know you're only going to ride 10 rides, pay the cheaper admission because you're not going to use that many rides. Um, so $3 to get in is, is better for you. If you know you're going to ride 30 rides, you don't want to pay $0.60 cents per ride, so you want to pay the higher admission price and the lower price per ride. So again, this 12.5 is where they'll be the same, and the way that comes in handy is that it tells you where your decision-making point is depending on what you want to do. So other than that, uh, you have a guided instruction sheet. Get that worksheet, work on it, make sure you ask questions. It is a worksheet of, I think, 16 substitution questions. Make sure you practice it again. You got your first test of the quarter coming up this Friday, and you want to be ready for it. So use all the videos, use all the information you have. Otherwise, complaining about how I'm doing and whether I'm using a video is uh, really not really effective as an argument because you have everything you need to get it done online in class before after school so make sure you start getting the help you need asking questions using each other other than that good luck today